Hey man, hey girls, how you doing out there? It's me, the Ice Cream Man. I'm here tonight, or today, whenever it is, I'm here for you to show you how to make a special flavor ice cream. One of my favorites. It's a beauty of a flavor for the summertime because it involves fruit, and it involves a purple fruit. Yes, I'm talking about making some plum ice cream. Plum ice cream has got a subtle flavor, a sweetness to it, and it's just wonderful for the summertime. So you watch and you're going to see what we got to do to make a batch of homemade plum ice cream. I can tell you right now, you need uh, about eight or nine plums. You got to let them get extra ripe because that brings out that sweet flavor and it makes them real juicy. And don't forget to take out the stones. I remember I left some stones in one time. Ooh, that was some fun ice cream cones. Anyway, then you're going to need some sugar. You're going to need some eggs. You're going to need some milk. You're going to need some heavy cream. And uh, that should be it. That's all it takes to make plum ice cream. So stay tuned and watch to see what you've got to do. So a big part of the process you got to take these overripe plums and you got to take the skin off of them and separate that skin right there but don't throw it away just yet because you can use it and then you want to take the plum without the, without the stone and you're going to put it in a little snifter here and uh, you're going to squish all the liquid through and you're going to uh, keep the rest of that pulpy plum material put that in a separate bowl and you're going to be using that when you blending and freezing your ice cream. So that's going to be step two. The first thing we're going to be doing is making a sweet cream base, which is the basis of any flavor ice cream. So now we're going to be doing a whole bunch of work here. I'll let you watch me while I do it here. This is the uh, separation of my first plum. I'm going to have to be doing some some cutting of the of the plum. It tends to be about a 50-50 mixture because the, the liquid that's going out it's not pure liquid. It's it's this here is gonna have the consistency of some applesauce, but in this case it's plum sauce. Yeah, and it's not the kind that you use in Japanese food, okay? It might be, I don't know, maybe. Maybe it's better with, it, it's got the same effect as, as sake. So if you like sake, you might like plum ice cream. You know, that's made from rice. It's very similar tasting. And there's the first one, so there's that. And now I start skinning the second one. It's a long process, but it's worth it when it's done. As you can see, when they're really ripe, that skin comes right off. And then all that's left for you to do is find that seed and get rid of it. Take out that uh, skin and start mushing this one. This one here apparently wasn't quite as ripe as the last one, so it's got it's got a little bit more pulp to it than the other one. So we just put that right in there. And it pretty much doesn't matter, other than when it all goes into the mix. The pulp 
goes in it later. The liquid goes in it when you're mixing up the cream and starting the whole process. Now this one here is not as ripe as some of the other ones. And when you have the riper, the, the less ripe the, the plum is, the yellowish orange, the more yellowish orange it is. And then as it ripens it gets darker red. So, this is something that you also want to start in advance because uh, to sweeten things up a bit, you let these, uh, the, the plums uh, marinate, so to speak, with some sugar for an hour or so in the refrigerator and they chill and it, it, it also helps it uh, when you put the sugar into the fruit, it's less apt to freeze hard like a rock. Well, I was back here and telling you about what I'm making here, which is the plum ice cream. And as you can see, I did all the work. I, all the plums are gone that was in there. This is the very liquidy liquid. And this is the mushy, 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 like applesauce consistency uh, part of the plums. And this is the skin. And this is something that I don't know what the heck it was. Uh, it looked like a jellyfish plum. I'm not doing nothing with that. That's going to go in the trash. But this, the skin, we're going to put it in a blender and it smashes it all up and you can use that for texture. And there's still a lot of pulp that's in some of those pieces of skin. It's just for a little bit added. It gives a little, uh, a little color in the f ice cream when it's finished. So right now we're going to move on and we are going to start making the sweet cream base, which is the basis of ice cream as I explained to you earlier in the video. The sweet cream base has got four ingredients. It's got milk, it's got sugar, it's got heavy cream, and it can have some vanilla flavoring in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the vanilla flavoring in the plum uh, ice cream because it doesn't really need to have an offsetting flavor because you want all that essence of the plumminess to come through to you, the ice cream eater. I'm just the ice cream man, but you're the ice cream eater. I'll be back with the sweet cream base. Okay, so here we are. Straight ahead, we're looking at the blender. I've already inserted all of the peels, the skins from the plums, into the blender. And we're going to blend it, but just to make it a little bit more user-friendly, I'm going to put some uh, good old-fashioned hood light cream in there. Now, we're going to use heavy cream when we make the sweet cream base, so this will help blend the plum skins into the rest of the ice cream after it's begun its mixing and freezing process, which we'll get to momentarily. But for now, we're going to put a little cream in there. Just a little. It's going to look like chocolate milk. And don't forget, put the cover on or you know what's going to happen then. Let's see, we want to blend it, we want to mix it, we want to ice cream it. I'm going to say we're going to, we're going to puree it. And that's pretty much it. There it is there. See how it's a little parade? I guess I could do it for another second or so. But it's pretty much there. Puree. And that's it. So that's one more step. That's ready to go. But we're not ready to put that stuff in yet. But we're done with that for now. Okay, so what you're looking at here is you've got the two bowls of your plum extract here. This here is the the liquidy, more liquidy plum, and that is the puree plum. This one has about one quarter of a cup of granulated sugar in it to let it sweeten up a bit, and it also will help it from freezing hard like a rock. And this one here, we put maybe about an eighth of a, an, uh, a cup 
in of sugar in there to make that from uh, freezing because that's more liquidy and that's going to be blended in with the sweet cream mix when we make that in about an hour but right now we put these two in the refrigerator let them chill before they go into the mix we'll be back when we get to the sweet cream well here we go it's been about an hour and a half since we were last here you were here, you were someplace, I was someplace, we were all someplace else, but now I'm back here. So, we're ready to go with the sweet cream base, which starts with three eggs. That's one, two, and there's a third one in there. And I should mention here that I'm making what I call a, ba a batch and a half, one and a half uh, times the recipe. So a regular uh, batch, you'd only use two eggs. This is one and a half, this is three eggs. If you want to do a double, guess what? Four eggs. Here's some math for you. But nonetheless, this is a, a, a batch and a half. So for the amount of sugar in a batch and a half, we got one and one eighth cup of sugar. And we got three cups of heavy cream. And we got one and one half cup of milk. The respective amounts would be two cups of heavy cream and one cup of milk if you were making a regular size batch. Sugar is only three quarters of a cup. So now you know the differences in the different uh, recipes. And of course, the bigger you make it, the more ice cream you get to eat or share. That's always good. So the first thing you're going to do once you crack these eggs is going to whip those eggs up. And then we're going to blend in the sugar because sugar is sweet. And who doesn't like sweet cream base? Boing, look, it's like you got a belfry here without the bats. And egg number three. And don't worry if you get any shells in there because it just, they know you use real eggs. We didn't get any in here tonight. But nonetheless, first thing you're going to do is now you're going to whisk those eggs up for about a minute or two minutes that's all it takes whisk 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 and you can see that it's eggs and so you keep on whisking here and you're whisking and you get more whisking than you can whisk you're gonna get tired of whisking whisking yeah okay so here's the whisking part of it and uh it looks good to me. Sometimes you can whisk quicker than you, you need to whisk, but you're going to continue whisking anyway. So the next step here is to take your sugar and blend that in with the eggs. Don't do it all at once, you know, do it slowly, and this is going to become a little bit thicker as you go along, but it'll eventually it's going to get smoother, creamier, because we're going to put the milk and cream in. So you got all these ingredients here, and there's, there's the end of the sugar, and you're just going to keep on whisking this. This is kind of an emulsifier, and it keeps uh, the ice cream together. And it, it adds to giving it the consistency that you come to expect of a top-quality, high-end ice cream. Yes, that's looking good. You can see it's a nice creamy thick texture and right now as I said that's just the eggs and the sugar so it's sweet and there's a lot of protein so don't let people tell you ice cream is not good for you okay sweet and protein and we're gonna put some more protein in when we get the milk and cream in there and I think we're ready for that so we'll start with the cream the cream is the killer here you go Wonk. And you know, it doesn't really matter how you put it in because it's all going to get mixed up and it's going to be going around in the, uh, the, the ice cream maker, the freezing device, uh, for half an hour or so. So you know it's going to get all mixed up. But for the start, there we go, that's that. Now normally if you make a double batch, you could use a whole uh, quart of heavy cream. And that would finish that off. But that's a lot of ice cream. And 
I'm pretty sure we have enough of the plums for this batch. That's why I made even a batch and a half instead of just a regular batch. But nonetheless, uh, there's a lot of preparation in the plum, plum with the plum, so you might as well make a larger batch, especially if you like it as much as I do. And you can't buy it anywhere, I don't think. I've never seen it. So I make it myself, but it's awesome. And uh, so this is pretty much it. I've stirred this up, and I'm about to uh, set up the ice cream maker. And uh, you'll see how that process goes. At that point in time, when I pour this into the ice cream canister, I will be putting in all of the plum uh, puree that we saw earlier when I was preparing it. This is mixed up pretty good right now. So this is the sweet cream base. That's all that was. Milk, cream, sugar, eggs. Four things. Milk, cream, sugar, eggs. Next step in the process of making the world's best plum ice cream, in my opinion, is to now add the plum extract that we got when we were mashing and crushing those uh, plums after we took the skin off. And this is the liquidy juice. It's, it's got, you know, substance to it, but the pulpy part we'll put in as the ice cream starts to freeze. But here we go. We're going to add this to the sweet cream base, and it's already turning it purple, reddish purple. Plum purple, I guess, is the correct term for this, but nonetheless, as I mix it up in a second, you'll see that the whole liquid here will be coming little more purpley. And, and now we have the mixing canister here uh, that we've been chilling for a while. Now we got to pour this all in here and hopefully I can pour this without spilling most of it. Get some height here. So far a good pour. Okay. There. Get some of that last bit of plumness in there. So here we are. Uh, the ice cream was transferred into the container here which is now in the freezing ice cream churn here which we fill with ice, we'll get a little closer there, which you fill with ice and then you put layers of ice and salt. And the salt is, transfers the coldness from the ice to the metal container that has the ice cream and it freezes the ice cream as the ice cream has air injected into it. That's the whole purpose of the ice cream going around. As it's going around, it's going through kind of a filter that is allowing air to get in between the solidness of the milk and the ice as it freezes. And better quality ice creams have less air in them. And that's why you can get a half a gallon of hood ice cream uh, for this less than you pay for a quart of Ben & Jerry's or haagen or another premium. But anyway, so that's about the air, and that's why uh, what happens when the spinning goes around. The longer you make it spin, the more air is going to be pumped into the blend of ice cream. Whatever the flavor, it doesn't matter the flavor. Of course, we're making the world's best plum ice cream today here. Uh, I, I am uh, Mr. Ice Cream. I'm being very sedate today. I'm not screaming, but that's okay. We'll wait to see. This will cook for about a half an hour. It's not really cooking. I hope you know that now. Don't plug put it on the stove or anything like that. It's electric. So you just let that do for a half an hour and we'll check and see how it's thick it is. It's been going on for about uh, 15 minutes or so. We'll get another 15 minutes to let it churn. But right now we're going to put in the rest of the plum, the puree part. So we've got to stop the machine here and say stop. Okay, thank you. And we take this off here and that off there. And 
here's our last bit of shibulari. We're gonna put the uh, the plum skin. We're gonna put that in. See how that works out. Has it been freezing that great? That's all right. Put about half of that in there. And as our journey to the land of wonderful plum ice cream comes to a close, I'd like to say thank you for all watching, and we're going to shut this off and see what we got. See if it's ice cream. Lots of times you have to finish up the freezing in the freezer. So we we gotta we gotta take off the excess here. Put it back in the tub. So here we are, and we're gonna start spooning some of this out. Probably gonna need some more containers. That's my guess. Mmm, just like I remembered it. So good. <laughs>